Well, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm cutting meat since I was, since I was 12 or 13, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> My, my great-grandfather great started the shop here. But like I was a victim of circumstances. My father died when I was only three. I was the breadwinner from the time I was 13 or 14. I had to keep the show on the road. It is a family business. Mary's in the shop all the time. I look after all the accounts and I also work full-time in the shop. Generally, I do everything, sweep the floors, clean the windows, the usual things that most women will do anyway. Mary's my wife. Probably would have had a knife in my hand as early as I could hold it. Working with family, sometimes, you know, you're the closest there to kick, basically. And John, my son, yeah. yeah, yeah. We live here over the shop, next door to the Nova, so we do. So we haven't far to go to work in the morning, just out through the hallway, out into the shop. Hey Mary, how are you? Hiya, how are you? Suck, 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 we, when we were young, we were going to school and that. I always had money, like, you know what I mean? Because I, I, I had a few cattle always. <coughs> See the way they crop, pop up their ears? I buy all the stock myself. I buy all the cattle and the sheep myself. Grass fed, grass fed animals. Six, 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 six. One. Things are tougher now. And like, you know, the, you, you have to be on your game the whole time. You can't relax if you don't, like. And you must have the quality the whole time, like, you know, you're only as good as the last bit of steak you sold, like, you know. Because they, they have a choice now. They can go here, there, and every place for it, like, you know. Our salvation is having our own abattoir. If we didn't have our own abattoir, we could be gone as well, like, you know. Having our own abattoir, we've control over what we're, what we're selling. If a person wants to buy a side of beef now off of us, they can go to the farm, pick out one themselves, and we'll kill it and cut it to their specifications. Go up here, right? Put in your beast. Come in here, follow your beast down. Close the... Put the bullet in here, cock it, and just in to put it up in the beast forward. You know, it's a special, special place to, to hit the beast. Pull the gun and that's it then. Right, did, I, did you catch it? Did you catch it coming out? Open this, and the beast falls out on the ground. The beast is hoisted up to bleed. He'll, he'll, he'll drop this, and the beast is brought up and back in. Next thing then, he takes off the hide, and then he'll proceed to split the beast. And then the sides will be hanging, there'll be side hanging on each hook then, and just run it in then into the hanging area. That is my life. That is my life.
So I know I know, don't know anything else. Work long hours, don't mind it, I suppose I'm not able to stick the hours now the way I was in those days, like, you know what I mean? If John wasn't going, if John hadn't, hadn't decided to stay at home, like, I would have been after scaling down at this stage, like, there was no point in I working away the way I was working if, if somebody wasn't going to take it over. So it's, I mean, you're doing it for John, like. So I'm still the kind of boss, but I suppose there's, there's a giant decisions now being made. Hmm. family are in the trade since the 1600s. Well, we can trace it back as far as the 1600s. But like even in this premises here, we're here since the 1890s. A legacy like that is, you can't leave it die. I'm happy. We have a good reputation. We're here a long time and it's the way of life with me and that's it. Yeah. The way I look at it is, like, I'll never actually own the farm and the shop and stuff. I'm just a custodian for a generation and just try and hand it on to the next generation as best as I can. That it's not actually mine, I'm only keeping it for the next generation. Mm -hmm.